This is video number four. Today we're going to be looking at bum scoots, moving forwards and backwards for either clothing, closing space to an opponent or moving back from an opponent. We're going to look at a bridge, which is for when if we've been mounted, we can use a bridge to move our opponent off the top of us. And also a hip escape or a shrimp. This is a really common move in Jiu Jitsu for moving our hips out of the way to create space. Could be done if we're stuck in side control, just to try and create space so we can get a knee shield or close our guard. Three different movements, bum scoot, bridge, hip escape. Give them a go. Remember, like, comment, subscribe if you like it. scoot moving forwards we're going to have both feet on the floor we're going to have one hand posted to the rear we're going to lift up so that our bottom is off the floor then we're going to move our bottom towards our feet okay then we're going to move our feet forward hands down lift up okay moving backwards it's the exact opposite so feet in up, 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 and down. Feet in, down. So, go feet out extended, lift up, bottom towards our feet, down. Okay, we're going to move our feet back out, bottom moves towards our feet, down. And we do that caterpillaring along. Same in reverse, when we're doing a bum scoop moving backwards, we start with our feet close to our bottom, we move our back and down. Feet in, back, feet in, back, forward, feet out, bum in, feet out. Our hand can be used to protect our face. So, so when we're moving back, when we're moving back, we're protecting our face or pushing an opponent away. When we move forward, it might be to close that space. You can practice with no hands. So we put our feet forward and we jump out, bump in. Two basic movements, give them a go. top of us in a mounted position so they've got their legs here and they're on top. We're going to lift our hips up so kind of a glute ham raise. We're going to lift our body off the floor and then we're going to reach over one shoulder. So we're having a bit of a twist. Imagine our opponent's on us. We're going to push up and to one side. So if I'm going over my right shoulder I'm going to reach over with my left arm. I lift up and over as far as I can. I'm going to lift my hips as high as I can. On the other side, hips up and over. 
we have our legs out, we're not going to be able to get our hips very high. So we want our feet close to our body as we can. We're going to lift up and over. Up and over. As we can cause more natural, we can speed it up. Lower body. Okay, from the other side. Again, during the extend and over. A few basic movements. Again, just for a warm up, normally do 20 on each side. Have a go. side control. Um, we use it lots of time to escape our hips to create space for us. So we start in this position here, similar to the bridge position, elbows tucked in. I'm going to lift up on my left leg and I'm going to pivot on my right shoulder. So opposite and opposite. I'm going to lift up into a bridge my left foot stays down. I'm going to come onto my right shoulder and I'm going to extend my left leg to send my hips backwards. Finish in this shrimp like position. So if our opponent was on us here, we've created all of this space. Back again. So I'm going to start with a bridge and then I'm going to pivot left foot, right shoulder. Extend my arms to push my opponent away. From the other side, so you can see, this time I'm going to pivot on my right foot on my left shoulder, lift up, bring my hips out to the rear and push forward. Okay, so right foot, left shoulder, extend out to the rear. You can try one side, then the other. It's good for your coordination. So I'm going to go trim right side first and left. So I go one and then in, two, in. One, two. From the reverse then. Right foot, left shoulder. The other way, left foot, right shoulder. Right, give it a go. Let me know what you think. Bussar!